welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome and thanks for tuning in my name is Demaume and I'm a Nigerian youtuber living in Lagos Nigeria today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial and I'll be featuring brands that deliver to Nigeria and Africa I'm so excited because these brands a lot of these brands we see them they are popular but a lot of us don't know that they actually deliver to Nigeria and most African countries they accept Nigerian bank cards and they accept most African bank cards as well and they deliver to you know they deliver to Africa in general. So I'm going to be featuring four brands in total, Zoeva, Pearl and Colourpop. Yes, these brands deliver to Nigeria and most African countries and then Ilamaska as well. Ilamaska is just basically the matte veil. I use it all the time so I bought that with my money. But then these other brands, the products that I'm going to be showing you guys, they were all sent to me as part of a PR package. So yeah, but I wanted to share because I went somewhere of recent and I saw a lot of fake Zoeva products. They were freakishly cheap. One thing that should be a red flag for you when you come across um, products from international brands is if they are so cheap, like cheaper than they are even being sold for on their websites, know that they are mostly always fake. So stay away. Know that you can buy these things from these brands and have them delivered to you at your doorstep here in Nigeria and wherever you are in Africa. Colourpop does not deliver to three countries in Africa and they are Sudan, Côte d'Ivoire and the Republic of Congo. So just know that if you are in any of these three countries, you might not be able to, you know, get your hands on Colourpop. But then they deliver to every other country aside from these three. I'm very, very excited. I'm very happy whenever I have to play with new makeup. I don't know what type of makeup look I'll be creating, but I'm going to go on ahead and start. So I'm going to start out with my eyebrows. However, I'm currently still addicted to the whole powder before foundation routine. So before I go on ahead to fill my brows in, I'm going to powder them down with some setting powder. This is a Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I look crazy, don't I? So this is just going to help my brows last and also help keep the shine away longer, okay? Okay, so the first product that I'm going to be showing you guys from the brands that I just mentioned is this brow palette here by Zoeva and it's their Brow Spectrum um, palette. It looks like this. It comes with some dark colors here and some light colors here. So these ones are probably for setting your brow bone area. I'll be using this shade here. They don't have names. This one is called number 60 with an angled brush by Sigma and I'm going to use this to set my brows. To define my brows, I'll be using my MAC 266 Angled Brush and a Studio Finish Concealer by MAC. This one is in NW40 and I'm just going to use this to clean up underneath my brows. I'm going to quickly prime my eyes and I'll be using my MAC Prep and Prime 24 hour extend eye base as usual for this. This is going to prevent my eyeshadow from creasing and also help it last all day. Okay. So for my eyeshadow look, I'm going to be using Zoeva's Naturally Yours eyeshadow palette and it's a very neutral palette. It looks like this. It goes from light all the way to dark down here. I'm going to just start, I'm going to create something neutral-ish. We'll see. So I'm going to start with this color here and it's called Soft and Sexy. And it's a very nice, warm, neutral brown. I'm going to use my MAC 224 blending brush and I'm going to apply this right into my transition area. The colors in this palette, they are so soft and so smooth. They remind me a lot of the Juvia's Place palette in terms of texture and the way they swatch. They remind me of the Juvia's Place palette. They are so pigmented, oh my goodness. So on my crease, I'll be using this color right here. It's a very dark brown and it is called Slow Dance. I'll be using my MAC 217 and I'm going to apply this color just gently into my crease area to give it some depth. So I'm going to be creating a cut crease. I'm going to take a little bit of concealer. This is my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Caramel. I'm going to go in with a brush and I'm going to use this to cover out my crease. Okay. 
Okay, so on my lid, I'll be using this color right here and it is called Forever Yours. And with my MAC 239 brush, I'm going to pat this on top of that concealer. Okay, so the one thing that I like about this palette is that the colors work really nicely with brushes. They swatch well with your fingers and they also like apply really well with brushes. This color is kind of like a toned down version. This Forever Yours, it's like a toned down version of Max. I think it's called Blue Green, Blue Brown. I'm going to write down the name of that pigment. It looks like that pigment, but a more subtle version of that pigment. Okay, so I'm going to go back in with Slow Dance, the brown that I used on my crease earlier, this time around with a Sigma E45. And I'm working this into my outer corner. To open my eyes up a little bit, I'm going to take this shade right here and it is called Smooth Harmony. I'm going to take my Sigma E30, it's like a small pencil brush, and I'm just going to pop this into my tear duct area. To set my brow bone area, I'll be using this shade here and it's called Pure. This is my Sephora Precision Eyeshadow Brush. I'm going to use this to set my brow bone area. Just set the concealer that I have in that area. I'm going to line my eyes quickly and I am using my MAC Fluid Line Pencil in Black Brilliance as usual. For my mascara, I'll be using this one by Pore and it is their fully charged mascara powered by Magnetic Technology. It looks like this. I'm just going to take it out of the pack. Ooh, the packaging is very, very matte. It reminds me of like suede. Is that how it's pronounced? Suede? Okay, so this mascara I like. I like the fact that it's getting in between my lashes and dragging things upwards, unlike the Maybelline one that I used in my last um, first impressions video. This one is actually pulling my lashes upwards and giving me a little bit of volume at the same time. For my lashes for this look, I'll be using these ones. And these are the Dim My Lashes by Lena Lashes. Lena Lashes delivers worldwide. You guys have seen me use these lashes a lot. And yes, they are named after me. I'm going to go on ahead and pop these, these, these these on <laughs> I'm applying a little bit of mascara just a little bit on my natural lashes underneath I'm going to go on ahead and press my falsies into my natural lashes just to make sure that everything merges properly I'm going to start out by priming my skin and this is the Ela Masca Matte Veil as usual. A lot of you have asked me about where you can get this primer and I always reply saying that you can order from the Ela Masca website. They do deliver to Nigeria. Just in case you are interested in Ela Masca products, know that they deliver to Nigeria, okay? Like I told you guys in the beginning, I am currently obsessed with the powder before foundation routine. So I'm going to go on ahead and pat my skin down with powder first before moving on to foundation. For my foundation, I'll be using the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. I tend to mix two shades, you guys already know. The brush that I'll be using here is my Sigma F60, so I'm going to use this to apply the foundation on my skin first and then I'm going to gently buff it out with something else later. So with my Sigma F80, I'm going to buff this out. I just want to let you guys know that Sigma also delivers to Nigeria and most African countries as well. I didn't say this in the beginning, but they do, okay? And if you're interested in getting any of the Sigma brushes that you guys see me use all the time, know that I have a 10% discount code with Sigma and it's Dimma. If you use it, you're going to get a 10% off at checkout, okay? Okay, so to highlight and contour, I'll be using this product here and it is from Pore and it is their Cameo Contour. It is their dual ended contour foundation and it includes a contour blending sponge. So yes, it does come with a sponge. I'm really nervous when it comes to things like this because I don't trust any sponge that isn't the beauty blender. So I'm looking forward to trying this and it looks like this it reminds me of the black cup contour stick hold on and this is what the black cup contouring stick looks like i have it in the shade three and i absolutely hate this. this is one of the few things that i hate from black cup actually and it's because of the finish and coverage you get with this i don't like it at all but this one claims to be a foundation so i'm really excited about this i want to try this to see how it will work A 
I've gotten the sponge damp. I'm going to start blending out now just to see. <laughs> Guys, nothing is happening. I don't understand. This thing is not working. I'm just going to switch to a beauty blender. Guys, I don't think that I like this highlight thing that it comes with because I don't know if it's that I didn't blend it out immediately. Maybe I was supposed to start blending the minute I applied it, but then it's not giving me the smoothest. I don't know. It almost looks like the, the highlight has disappeared. Let me just blend out the contour. Okay, so here is the thing. I don't like this highlight and contour thing. I feel like the contour part is better because it's giving me a nice contour that I've been able to blend out. But then when it comes to the highlight bit, I almost feel like I can't see anything anymore. I feel like the whole thing kind of disappeared while I was blending it out. So I'm just going to go over that area with my Nars Radiant Creamy Concealer just to give myself a little highlight. Okay, so to contour my face, I'll be using this brush here by Zoeva and it is your face shape brush. This one is part of their bamboo collection. I'm going to use my Ella Masca Press Powder in 325 and I'm just going to apply this over that cream contour that I applied earlier. This brush is very, very round and it just goes right into that contour area. I like the way that it fits that area on my face. To set my entire face, I'm using my Black Up 2-Way Cake as usual. The brush that I am using is my MAC 138 powder brush or face brush. It's not a powder brush, it's a face brush. I'm going to take a small smudge brush. This one is by Sephora and it is their smudge brush. And the color that I used on my crease earlier, Slow Dance, and I'm going to apply this on my lower lash line. I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara, the same one that I used earlier on my bottom lashes. For my blush for this look, I'll be using Max Blush in Raisin and the brush that I am using is the Cream Chick Brush by Zoeva. It is a 1 to 8 brush and it's a very nice angled brush. To highlight my cheekbones, I'll be using this palette by Zoeva and it is their Summer Stroke Spectrum Palette and a brush from them as well. This is their highlighter brush and it's number 105. I'll take this one here, this is number 30. For this look, I'm going to be using two lip products by Colourpop and they are both in the same shade Freak and Frack. One is a lip pencil and the other one is an ultra satin lip. I don't know, I think it's an ultra satin lip gloss. Okay, so this is super pigmented. I'm not going to be applying more of it. If I had known, I would have just applied a little bit on the center and then smacked it in. But I'm going to see if I can just control it a little bit with the lip pencil. Okay, guys, so this is the final look. This is a look that I was able to come up with using these products. I hope that you guys liked it. I personally like it. I think that you know it's a nice look <laughs> so i hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to thumbs it up if you liked it and subscribe if you're not yet subscribed i'll see you guys in my next video i do have a discount code with some of these brands so i'm going to leave a link and you know the codes down in the description box i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys